Okay, so this is uh, part 6 of the um, data processing in Chromium for GCMS video series. Um, so in last uh, part we learned about how to do a calibration plot. Uh, let's see, now uh, th this time I'll show you how to do reports. Uh, in many labs, in many commercial labs, you know, reporting is very important. Uh, so what you do is, uh, over here you'll see uh, a report designer where you click. So, since uh, this is the first time we are creating a report, you know, it gives you an option or to choose a template. So, you know, create a report template. So, since this is uh, mass spec data, so you would use, you know, the default MS report and uh, you know just click OK so as soon as, as soon as you do that it gives you uh, you know like a few uh, 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 few reports or you know like few tabs where you can choose your reports uh, now you know this is highly customizable you know this as as you can see it looks just like Excel and you know if you don't want a certain tab you can delete it or you can if you want to add some more information in your report you can do that so let's go one by one about what's there in the default you know MS report uh, so first of the sequence overview you know it gives in just an overview of uh, your injection sequence you know the name of the injection type you know bla blank or matrix or calibration standard um, the second tab is integration so it gives you uh, you know the integration report you know for example for like Symmetran, uh, you know, we had an area of, you know, for like 500,000 something or 5 million it is, uh, you know, for 213 quantitation peak. So, um, and, you know, and also the amount. So, this is the calculated amount, you know, from the calibration plot. So, this is like 1000 BPB, so which is, you know, which is like 1 BPM, right? So, which is correct. Uh, calibration report over here will give you you know the calibration plot obviously and uh, where does it say X oh, okay that's uh, that's because you know the calibration itself is done on the MS quantitation channel and what I've clicked is the tick or the total line chromatogram so let me click on the MS quant channel and uh, you should see you know the proper values you know for the x-axis y-axis you know and areas and stuff like that uh, let's go to peak analysis tab. So peak analysis will give you, uh, you know, the uh, the mass spectra itself uh, and uh, you know the mass, you know, and the MS components. Um, like I said, like all all of the uh, all of this is highly customizable. I mean, if you don't want this, you don't want this in your report. You can just select it and you know delete it. Um, so uh, let's see SST. SST we haven't been talked about SS SST is system suitability test we didn't do anything we didn't do any any tests so right now this is of uh, no use for us uh, but you know we, uh, 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 once once I show you something about system suitability uh, uh, we can learn more about that um, library search summary so this is uh, you know the search results for that uh, for the peak um, the Symmetran peak. Now, uh, retention time it says NA. Uh, I think that's because we have selected the MS Quant channel, and you know, library search is generally done on the tick channel. So if it if I do tick, will it, no, it does not. Okay, so let me let me double click on this and see what's happening. And double click it, you know, gives you this uh, formula editor. Uh, peak dot retention time that's fine channel is tick I think we want to channel select uh, MS quant channel and selected component so the selected component is symmetric which is okay so I'll close this okay so the retention time shows up what about this the hits uh, component NA so that means you know let me double click on this uh, so So the channel it does is tick. So if I change this to quant channel, 
it should show up okay there it goes so I, like I said I mean this is this is like a default uh, template which is already there but you know you might have to make some changes to uh, to make it suitable for your reporting so anyway um, anyway the, uh, and we can do this uh, for for the rest but I'm not going to show it right now uh, what about component sequence summary okay so this is you know I mean the same thing I mean just like a sequence overview your areas heights amounts so and this is the audit trail so I think in some labs this is of importance you know to see what ha what what went down basically you know what were the GC conditions and stuff like that um, uh, and and this is the chromatogram itself and uh, so this is on the MS Quant channel so if you want the tick you select over here uh, and y you'll have the tick so so and like I said uh, you know if you want something that's not there you can easily add it for example let me let's do this let me add uh, another tab and then we can add some more information so let's see um, you right click uh, no, let me insert a blank sheet, right? A blank sheet. So there you have it. There's a blank sheet, and uh, let me go to all tables to see what all report tables are present. So if I go to all tables, you know it gives a list of tables that are already there. Uh, integration table. Yeah, I think many of these tables are already in the report. But uh, let's see. I want to see the MS instrument method. Is it there? Okay, it's there. So I click insert. Close this, and you'll have the MS uh, instrument parameters that were used. So you know the instrument type TSQ8000 Evo, mass transfer and temperature ion source. You know, like that. Okay, so um, I think I'll stop here. Uh, um, I guess uh, you got a pretty good idea of uh, you know what, uh, re how to do reports in um, um, in Chromium. Uh, uh, you have to, I mean, if you want uh, some extra reports, you can easily or extra things you can easily add, like I showed you, for example, uh, you know the MS uh, instrument method. Um, Okay.